Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and gifted animals, you can thank the one and only Ryan at CastlemaniaGames.com for this bonus stream. For those unaware, this is Demon Sword from Taito on the NES. Well, technically for the NES, but on the Retrobit Super Retro Trio Plus. So we're going to wait just a moment here to let people come on in and partake of what we have going on. Uh, I will be disappointed if Ryan does not show up since he has mocked me so much on this game. I have never played it. Uh, we are using the original NES controller, however, uh, to play some Demon Sword. And from now on, that is how I will refer to this game as Demon Sword. Now, if you want to learn more about the Super Retro Trio Plus, uh, please feel free to ooh, um, check out our review and unboxing of the system here on the channel. So, interesting attacks. You have your Ninja Stars. And then you can jump by pressing up. Or you can climb by pressing up too, I guess. Actually, the graphics are really good on this. Um, I didn't know what to expect. Ryan has strange tastes in games. The jumping mechanic is definitely weird pressing up. But, ooh, got him. Kind of a little Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden, however you want to say it, uh, with the attacks. Oh, as we blind jumped into a pit. Whoa, tried to stop there and could not, uh, could not do it. Come on, come on. Oh, got it. Seems very like it's a uh, momentum-based game. So the, the longer you press to the left or right, your character will... Oh, that's, that's flipping awesome. Um, will run faster. I have no idea what that just was. Oh, actually, I think I know what that was. I think we just got a... Uh, a new subscriber to the channel. <laughs> yes, this is Demon Sword. I have never played this before, Eugene, so I don't know if you've Whoa, how did that happen? That was freaking cool. He's like running and bouncing on the rooftops and... Wow, that's really cool. Okay, Ryan, I take it back. Pretty cool taste in this game. Um, I'm digging it already. The mechanics are definitely different, that's for sure. Wait a second, hold on. Look at dude's butt. It's got a tongue sticking out and is sticking his tongue out at you as it goes side to side. That's pretty hilarious. Okay, so my question is, how long is each level? Um, that's That's what I really want to know. Uh, I just want to check one thing here real quick. That's what I thought it was. So how do you change... Can you change weapons at all? It's really a unique mechanic. I mean, it reminds me very much of, like, a lot of the Kung Fu movies from, like, the 60s and 70s. Where you just keep going and bouncing. I guess you don't even need to worry that much about enemies initially. You just need to try to get to the end. I wonder if there's bullet time in here. I have to admit this uh, this Ninja Warrior is you know kind of sexy with his legs showing out there. I kid, I kid. I'm kind of disappointed Ryan's not here right now.
I mean, he's been the one that's been wanting me to play this forever. Okay, so like that, am I already at... So watch, seriously, look at his butt. He's sticking his tongue out left or right. That's pretty funny, actually. Okay, there's the... The, the first boss. Is there a life gauge or anything for the first boss? Oh, damn, one hit kills? That sucked. I've never, this is the first time I've ever played this game. In fact, I have to admit, until Ryan was uh, talking about it one night in the chat, I had never even heard of it. I really wish that there was a, a life gauge for this enemy so I knew if I was doing anything against him or not. I like the character sprites. I think they look pretty good. Oh, he's hit me. This is the jumping game, pretty much. Is that is that pretty much all that you uh, do in this thing, Eric? You know, I need to text Ryan and tell him to get his, his tush in here. Oh, I can shoot stars down from on top. I can rain down. I can come at you like a spider monkey, chat. Seriously, though, I wish this boss had a, uh, a life gauge on him somewhere. Uh, no, I don't have the audio muted. So I wonder if it's just really low, Eugene. I haven't cha made any changes to the audio levels, I'll tell you, since I was streaming on the GameCube. Is it more quiet than that was? Um, here, let me go on to OBS real quick. We'll bump it up a little bit. I'll actually pause it here. And we'll bump it up a little bit. And you guys let me know if this is any better on the game volume. So I did bump it up about 25% to see if that's any better. This is actually not... I was expecting like a um, Conan the Barbarian style game, and this is more like Feudal Japan is, is the way that I'm getting it. Yeah, no difference. All right, give me a second. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> Funny, Eugene. Funny. Um, I'm just going to crank it up all the way and see if it does... makes any difference. Um, hope I can hear... So now I've got it cranked all the way in OBS, so we'll see if this does anything. Like I say, I didn't change anything from when I was playing the GameCube. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Uh, uh, I don't think your sound is coming through at all. I'm very staticky, or the game volume is very staticky. Hmm. Well, here, what I'll do is I'll turn up the volume here a little bit. At least you can hear something then.
I know this is kind of ghetto for audio, but it's what we got. I don't know why it's not coming through. It's really odd. <laughs> nice, Eric. See, I can't go back to the GameCube because I've been taunted that I have to play this. And, and, and you know the bro code that you can't... Hey, I got him! Woohoo! Stage one clear. Hang on one second. I have to do something here. I have to uh, text Ryan and just tell him, Dude, where are you? You're missing Demon Sword. So we'll see what happens. Try clicking properties of the video source. Configure crossbar. Let's see. Video capture device. Configure. Hang on here. Try clicking properties for the video source. Video capture device 2. Let's see. Properties. Configure crossbar. Video. Not just showing me. Oh, it's muting in. Minus one, mute in. Uh, related pen, audio out. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, use custom audio, capture audio only. Output. There's no volume other than your voice and static. Hmm. Flip vertically, use custom audio device. No, I don't want to do that. Weird. Uh, configure crossbar. Nope, that doesn't do it for me. Properties. So for input, I've got video parallel digital in, video YR, no, that's not it, S video composite RGB, um, link related streams. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, audio decoder out. Oh, here we go. Hey, NES Elja, how you doing? Let's see. All right, I'm going to unpause here in a second. Although I just lost my screen here, so. Maybe end the stream and turn it off and back on. I don't know. That's weird. All right, I'm going to unpause it here. I've got everything showing up now on my end. Let me know if this is, if you can hear anything. I mean, I'm seeing audio on my end, at least on the, uh, on the audio bars themselves, you know, whatever you would call it, the audio track. As I die. Let me know if that comes out any better, if you guys can hear anything. Um, what if I try control delete? Yeah, but it's quiet. So you guys can hear something now? 
So let me see here. It's cranked all the way there. Properties. Quiet. Okay. You know, advanced audio properties. Capture device. Still tons of static. Was it staticky earlier on the GameCube guys? Okay, so that's that. I want to make sure too, because sometimes if it picks up my desktop audio, it can cause issues. Desktop audio is zero. That's zero. Not at all, none. Hmm. So I'm wondering if it all has to do with um, the source. All right, so I just turn the or unpause the game here. Seriously, that's how fast you can get to the bosses on this. And one hit kills. That's weird. Well, I'm game over. So, okay. Well, I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. That's. Uh, Hey, Magnus, um, I just wanted to try it out. I've never played that before. It's weird. You can just get to the end bosses without doing anything. Um, really kind of bizarre. So um, I will check what's going on with my audio stream because Demon Cart starts specific by Demon. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, it's weird because, like you say, every everything looked like it was fine on the GameCube. I haven't changed anything besides... The system, and I'm using, I use an HDMI switcher box to go to my uh, um, encoder and everything. So that's really quite bizarre. Um, you guys, I want you to do me, all do me a favor. If you're on Twitter, tweet to at Castlemania Ryan and say, Dude, where were you for Demon Sword? Gary was playing Demon Sword. Um, and, and I want to kind of see his reaction to it. So, but this has been Demon Sword. Um, we'll be back later on this week. Uh, actually next week, I may be doing quite a bit of streaming from Germany. So, uh, hope to see you guys there and, uh, thanks for watching. If you can do me a quick favor, give this video a thumbs up. God sending a message. Um, yes, he, he's telling us burn this cartridge. <laughs> hey, for five bucks, I can't complain a whole lot. So, uh, thanks again for stopping by the bonus stream. I hear Mr. John Riggs is streaming on his channel. Go give that man some attention and some likes and thumbs ups and comments. Tell him I sent you there to say hi to everyone. You all have a good night now, and I will talk at you soon.